All right, what is the secret news? I'm writing a musical, and the musical is The Notebook. What? Ah! That was Ingrid here on our show in 2019. Guess what happened? Oh, my gosh. It's come to life. She willed it, <laughs> and it is on Broadway. She willed it, and she worked it. The Notebook, the musical, officially opens next <gasps> week. Ingrid, oh, my gosh. Okay, you announced this five years ago. Yes, and my hair was so blonde. Oh, you were totally so many things blonde. Have changed. <laughs> so, th what I love about this is you loved this before it became a thing. You were writing songs for this before you even had it in your hands. Yes. What? Why the love for it? When I watched it years ago, yeah. when we all watched it. Um, I just fell in love with the romance. I fell in love with the commitment aspect of it. Um, I just fell in love with the movie and the story, and mm. I, it really just spoke to me. And so, there, look at that. Come on. I know, look at <laughs> How that. How could you not? I mean, and I. Do we have the rain? We do. Scene? We have rain. Of course you I, do. We're not, we're not doing the movie. We're not doing. The musical version of the movie, it's its own entity, but we do, so the, the rain scene is a little different, but yes, we have you rain have on rain. stage, which is epically beautiful. It's just the lighting, oh, it's just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, okay, so the bet, to watch you announce something, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then to flash forward five years. <laughs> five years. And the work, yes, and the dedication, the and the grit, because you can say something's happening, but for it to actually happen. Mm -hmm. Especially Broadway's not yeah. easy. Yeah. So and what, there what aren't is a it? lot of female uh, composers either. Mm -hmm. so there are, but there aren't a lot on Broadway. So mm -hmm. it's it's taken a village. <laughs> There's so many people involved in this. Our amazing directors, our amazing musical director, all these incredible actors, lighting, costumes. There's so many people involved in this to make this happen. The producers. I mean, it's it's been a dream that I never even knew that I could dream. Honestly, it's the best thing I've ever done in my life. Uh, I know. And by the way, if you know Ingrid's music, you know how beautiful a singer you are. Mm. And I think what makes you special is you actually feel your story in the words that you sing. And that's what's happening right here in this musical. Your parents who both passed. Yeah. And I know that was a difficult and just tough time for you. Yeah. But they're living on in these words. Well, this show is about love. It's also about loss and about what happens after loss. And um, lost my mom in 2014, my dad 2017. And I c realized recently how much of my grief I processed through writing these songs mm. over the last seven years. Mm. And they're just braided into all of the lyrics and so much of the action on stage that I get to have them with me in these little moments. And they feel secret to me because <laughs> I know where they are and maybe other people don't. But I think other people watching who are going through something, a loss or falling in love or feeling like they need to reunite. I mean, there's so many aspects to this show that it just touches people on so many different levels. So for me, it does keep my parents with me in this very special way. It also reminds me of like the first time I kissed someone. Mm. And you know, it's it just runs, this runs the gamut. It hits you at all these great places. So it's been such a gift for me, such, such mm. a gift for me. Mm. It's so amazing what art can do to mm -hmm. heal. Mm -hmm. like art it's kind and of music. crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and live theater, to be in a yeah. community you know, with a thousand people and we're all feeling the same thing. Well, if you want proof of what people yeah, are exactly. feeling. So people are posting on TikTok. So they're posting when they walk into the theater and they're like, yay, it's Ingrid's show. And they're all waving. And then we're seeing what they look like after. I think, I think so how it started, it. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people with tissues and the rest. I mean, it's people are saying, I'm not even at the end of the first act and I'm already sobbing. You're hitting people, right? Wait, yeah. actually, Hoda, I don't know if we can handle it. We, we, it's, it's we want to come, but we, we get, get dehydrated quickly. <laughs> it's so it it is it does make people cry, but I have to say that it's it's a catharsis. It's a cathartic cry. It's 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 a release. It's a release, and and you have permission because all these people around you are also crying, yeah. and there's something sort of, and laughing. There's actually a lot of humor. Our amazing book writer Becca Brunstetter, um, who wrote for This Is Us, she put oh, so wow. much Gosh, humor amazing. in this. So you have these beautiful, sad songs, and you have these hysteric, hysterically funny scenes right after. And I think it sort of stretches you as an mm -hmm. audience. And the more you laugh, the more you allow yourself to cry. And the more you allow That's yourself so to cry, good. the more you laugh. So by the end, we've kind of stretched you all. <laughs>
<laughs> You've gone through I, every emotion. Yes. <laughs> but it's it's so. I love live theater. I love live yes. music. And there's something so communal and wonderful about experiencing all these these human human mm. emotions together. And it is it is tearful, but it's also really beautiful mm. and a reminder of life and what's important in life and love and commitment. How, how do you think opening night's going to feel? Uh, <laughs> it, this whole process has been me having to just take a second to lock myself into my moment because it's a whirlwind so i imagine i'm not i'm hopefully will have pockets of being present but <laughs> i'm really just i'm on a I'm on a, on a hamster wheel in my mind but i think it'll be wonderful but well, we want to come open yes, yes. Come, we want to see you because we're so proud of you the Thank fact that you announced you. it here first and I now know. you're doing it wow doing it. and so many people that come oh. to new york are going to come and see this oh show. yeah that'll be a so must how see how amazing is that the notebook the musical on Broadway is in previews now at the Schoenfeld Theater. It opens officially, mark your calendars, on March, March 14th. 14th. All of y'all here for spring break. Get yes. your tickets now. Thank you. you Thank it. you, Ingrid.